Good evening, uh, board members and public. Um, I have a few items to present to you tonight, but I'll start off the evening by asking Emily Ashley, our Director of Citizen Information and Resources, to come forward and share an update on the work of the Youth Citizens Board, as well as a report out on the Local Government Education Week. Ms. Ashley. Thank you. I'd also like to ask our Youth Citizens Board to stand up and then our, our speakers to also come up. So as they're making their way, I also want to give a quick update. At the end of April, we had Local Government Education Week. This year, we pivoted to do a virtual session, and we were in over eight middle schools where we had different county employees brief eighth grade civics classes on what their role in local government was. But this evening, it's my pleasure to introduce in person our 2021 Youth Citizens Board. This board, compromising of 24 students and four adult volunteers, have met monthly since October. If you recall when you appointed this board back in the fall of 2020, you charged them with a mission to be engaged in local government matters and, be, and youth around the county. I'm happy to report this evening this board was outstanding in their efforts. Partnering with mental health and communications and media, the students learned the work of these departments before executing their own mental health campaign named Miss Mental Health is a, missing, is a Puzzle, and we have the missing piece. This campaign was targeted towards teens and parents of teens to be aware of mental health issues, how to ask for help, tips to cope. In their campaign, they reached 40,000 people across their social media channels. They received an 1,800% increase in their Youth Citizens Board website page views. They wrote an op-ed for the Richmond Times-Dispatch with a reach of 212,000 people. We were, they were interviewed and aired on local news channels for reach over, of over half a million people. It's my honor to let four of our members speak tonight on their experience, as well as have the entire board introduce themselves. Jason, I'll have you. Thank you, Chair Holland, members of the Board of Supervisors, and Dr. Casey. My name is Jason Melendez, and I'm a junior from James River High School, although I'm graduating early this year. I begin with thanking you for seating us as members of the Youth Citizen Board. You afforded us a unique opportunity to collaborate on such an important issue that culminated in our service project for this year. Mental health is a puzzle, but we have the missing piece. Although the Youth Citizen Board was not able to meet in person as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic, our work was not diminished in purpose or impact. In devising our multimedia campaign, each member brought their talents and skills to the project. While some were good at art and graphic design, others were able to use their writing and speaking skills to advance the campaign. And overall, between student members and adult representatives, we were all able to bring our own experience and the experiences of our peers to the discussion to better inform our approach to our campaign. Our campaign reached multiple outlets and several hundreds of people, including uh, county social media, the school division's website, NBC 12, our Richmond Times dispatch uh, column, and through our own social media as individuals. It is my hope and certainly the hope of the Youth Citizen Board that the message of our campaign continues to reverberate to the greater Central Virginia region and it may even serve as a model for other localities to approach the stigma of mental and emotional health, particularly in youth. Our campaign could have not come at a better time where the COVID-19 pandemic has undoubtedly impacted youth mental and emotional health. So I hope you are all equally as proud of our work as we are. Thank you. Hi, my name is Kendall Birmingham, and I'm from Matoka High School. I would like to start off by thanking everyone here for giving me the opportunity to be a part of the Mental Health is a Puzzle campaign. I think it was really great to, for the community to talk about issues regarding mental health, and I hope that the discussion will continue to persist. Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Alexis Bodrick. I'm from Manchester High School. And being part of this mental health campaign was an amazing experience. I got to use my skills as a mass communication student to uh, make an impact on my community that ended up being the face of the uh, this very important campaign. I made the, the logo. <laughs> it was really fun. <laughs> So mental health is something that we always hear about. We, it's always in the media, everyone's talking about it and to make sure that you take care of it, but not everyone fully understands what that means. And I'm glad that this uh, campaign helped to address it, not only to uh, 
bring attention to it, but to give students and the, our youth the ability or the tools to help cope with it for themselves, which are skills that will last them for a lifetime beyond this craziness of 2020-2021. So I'm very proud to have been a part of this campaign, and I hope that our work, or well, I know that our work is going to do great things. So thank you. Good evening, everyone. My name is Aaliyah Smith. I am a senior at Montoga High School, and I want to thank you all for allowing me to be part of this board as well as this campaign. Um, hi, my name is Shreeman Benagala. I'm a junior from Midlothian High School. Um, I feel like you, everyone knows what we're doing with the campaign, so I just wanted to say I think mental health is something that feels so far away from people, but when you're walking in the hallway through school, it just seems so much more real. I see it when you see kids who are always wearing long sleeves, tied scars on their arms, and you're seeing kids who are being reprimanded for wearing clothes that are too short, and it just, it's all of the little cut downs that happen in real life. So I feel like with social media, we can always bring awareness and we can always tell people where to find resources, but the next step isn't something that we as high schoolers can always do. So. Um, I just want to say thank you for letting all of us be a part of this, but the next part should really just be making sure that every school has equal access to guidance counselors and just the real life things that you can't get from the internet. Because we're going to keep our part going on social media, but um, it's the job of, I feel like, people in leadership to do the real life aspects. So just thank you for paying attention to this, because for, for so long no one really cared about mental health. So we really appreciate it. Thank you. Good evening, my name is Mahalat Nibiu. I'm a junior at Cosby High School. Um, I would like to thank you guys for giving us this opportunity to start this campaign and to pay attention to our work. Thank you. Good evening, my name is Madeline Heller. I'm a senior at Monacan High School. Um, thank you for supporting us. Hello, I'm a junior at Trinity Episcopal School. My name is Cameron Sutton, and I would just like to say thank you so much for giving us this opportunity and bringing awareness to mental health. Hi, I'm Blake Britt, a uh, senior at Thomasdale High School. Thank you guys for giving me this opportunity to be a part of this board. Hi, I'm Paige Walworth. I'm a junior at Maggie Walker Governor's School, and thank you so much for the opportunity to work on such a meaningful and worthwhile campaign. I'm uh, Jim McGuire, adult representative from Midlothian. Thanks for having us, and I just want to say the kids did a great job. Thank you. Hello, Katrina Goodman from Clover Hill. I'm an adult representative. This is my third year on the board, so I suppose my term is up, but I've really enjoyed my time and um, getting to know all these students, and every year just amazes me what they come up with and the things that I learn to pass on and um, about my children that are coming up. So it's really been a nice to be part of this. Good evening, my name is Tiffany Marks. I am the adult representative for the Bermuda District, District, and this is my first year on the board. It has been a pleasure. I wanna thank you all for allowing me to have the opportunity, and I am looking forward to being able to participate in the future. Hi, my name is Brandon Artis. I'm a junior at L.C. Bear High School, and I appreciate the opportunity for having us. So with that, and also thank you to Prevention Services and our communications and media team. As you can tell, this was such a spectacular group to work with, and we're just so incredibly proud of what they were able to produce this year. Board members, any comments at this point? What a, I'll yield to you board members first, ladies first. Haley. Well, thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, I have to say I'm, I'm, like, always really impressed with the work that comes out of our youth. I mean... You know, I, I heard reference to us as leaders, but folks, honestly, you know, I look at every one of you and you are 
our next leaders. I mean, this is the importance of what the future looks like. And I think all of us are always humbled by the amazing work that comes out of our youth. Um, you know, even as you identify the issues and then the work that you put together on how to bring that story forward. And so, you know, thank you all for your commitments and recognize that, you know, we work through um, folks like you. So you're probably right now more in touch with these issues than many of us are. And, you know, we remain open-minded to suggestions and ideas that come from any of you. So thank you for serving because you truly have served and sent a message to your community. So thank you. Wonderful. Thank you. Mr. Engel. Mr. Chair, uh, first I'd like to say that uh, looking at the applications for this board was very difficult. There was a lot of strong people that applied for the opportunity to stand where you are, both students and adults. And you all rose to the top. This board selected you, and you've made us proud in the work that you've done to represent us having selected you to serve on this board. And um, the work you did is remarkable, and I, I do thank you for your service to the community. Hello. Mr. Chairman, uh, just want to say, you know, Obviously, this has been a tough year, uh, and we've all experienced a lot of loss in one way or another, and that should not be minimized for any single person. But I will say this, uh, with this group and this message you all have put out, I think it's a real positive. We're starting back, you know, and I feel very positive about the direction we're going, and um, just gives me a lot of hope for the future. So um, you all are spreading sunshine up here tonight. Thank you. Wonderful. Yes, sir. Sure. Uh, as my colleagues have said, this is uh, there was a lot of competition uh, that, of people that put in to do this, and um, yes, this has been a difficult year, uh, and I hope, and I think I'm probably right when I say that the work that you did has probably helped others more than you could probably know, uh, because you know you can have a contact with an individual and maybe talk to them. Um, but the ones that you don't have a contact with, that you don't talk to, that get to read what you put out there or hear about what you did, um, the impact that you have, that, that's unknown. It's intangible. You're right. There's no way to gauge that unless you actually get input back from the people that you've touched. And so it was spectacular that you stepped up to do this, and you probably touched a lot more people than you even realized. So thank you very much for what you did for our community. Absolutely. I joined. Also say thank to each of you. Ms. Ashley, thank you as well. And to our volunteers, thank you for serving. And thank you each. What well, a wonderful campaign you did. And I read the article about youth mental health. What well, a timely issue with COVID and the experiences we have had. So I applaud you for your service to Chesterfield County and for also learning more about local government. It's so important that we learn. And I always like to tout our civics learn about local, state, and federal government so that we better understand how our democracy works because it's ours to protect and defend. And I thank you for being on the front lines of doing just that. And I would ask that you please share with your other colleagues the experience you've had so that they might understand and know as well. And please share again, learn about our government, our civics, and also Always good to learn about financial issues, our literacy and other items as well. So I applaud you and we all should join at this point in giving each of you a hand for your outstanding service. <laughs> and we wish each of you the best for those moving on. Thank you again and for those who are continuing. Thank you again for continuing to serve with us here in Chesterfield County. You make this county the excellence that it is. It is you, and I thank you, each and every one. Dr. Casey. Thank you, and thank you, everybody. I may be working for them one day, so I have to. <laughs> <laughs>